Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing the swing arm of the bike. Um, I already have some designs laid out, um, so we can kind of look at these quick. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Um, the swing arm is going to be extended a little bit more than this. And yeah, we're going to weld some things and it should be a great time. Alright, so this is the design right here. I guess it goes this way. Um, this is the part of the frame right in the back. So the swing arm is going to be, there's going to be a like a 10 inch bolt going through here. Um, and then the swing arm right here. It's going to be supported by that, that, that. And the wheels can go in the back with a big bolt through there. And then the shocks are going to go in the middle and then attach to this upper part. So I don't know if you guys can get the picture, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So wish me luck and here we go. All right, so here's a little update. I got the, uh, the swing arm kind of done. Uh, we've got the length right here, so in perspective, it's kind of how long the swing arm's going to be. We're going to put a bolt through these two so these can pivot up and down like this. And then we're going to brace all this securely, brace one right here, and the wheels can go back here. Um, and the shocks are going to go, I have to make something for right here. So when it goes up you get some tension and compression right here. So that's kind of what we're going to go after and hopefully it works. Alright, so this is the hardware I got for it. Um, we've got, I mean, I'm not going to put any bearings in this because I'm not really planning on really riding this thing off-road. So I got these bushings for it. Um, these are going to go on the inside right here. I mean, and then this bolt is going to go through the whole entire thing. Like almost perfect length, just going to have to cut out the wood a little bit. But that's going to go in there and uh, hopefully it will pivot. And then we're going to brace the wood with more of these around it. So yeah. Should be exciting. All right, little update. So we got the swing arm almost fully done. Uh, this bolt is going to go through there, right there, pivot, and then we've got the swing arm going. I'm making the bracket right here for um, hold the shocks right there. Two ends are going to go. These are going to go up like that. At the weld one like that. And then weld one like that, and then a bolt is going to go through the top of this and hold those two shocks on. But right now I'm drilling this out, so let's get a good shot of that. Now we just have to do the other side, and right in the middle, and we should be good to go on that. So another hole right here, right here, right here, and this is going to get bolted right to there. Stay tuned, hopefully we can get this done today, if not, we can work on it tomorrow too. Alright guys, update time. I'm um, sorry I'm not getting any like welding shots or whatever, but this is the welder I have. Longevity MIG Welder 140. Um, it's a piece of junk. I bought it off of eBay for like 400 bucks, and it's, yeah, I hate it. I mean it does the job, but the welds are crap. It's a MIG welder, I'm just using, well, I guess it probably wouldn't be that bad if I was using gas, but I'm using flux weld. So, as you can see, the settings go up to like 10. It's rated for like 4th inch. And this is what I just welded up right here. Uh, this, this tab. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's take it out and look at it. This is the tab. As you can see, nothing special. Um, let's take a look at these welds here quick. They're really not good. Look at all that splatter. I mean, they're not horrible, but they're not the best in the world. They're, they're strong. I made sure they were strong. But this piece is probably like, that's like a fourth, eh, maybe an eighth inch piece. As you can see, the welds went all the way through. 
So that's good. You can see with this color. Yeah. So welded both sides and that's what that's gonna do. Um and that's gonna go right here. And then the shocks are gonna go down. So right now I'm just gonna drill some holes and then bolt this to the wood right there. I think. And actually I might put another piece of wood right here because this is gonna have to be pretty this is gonna have a lot of compression going on it. When the shock, when the shocks compress like that, this piece is gonna be under tons of load. So I'm gonna double it up right here. Put another piece right here. And then put this right there, drill through, bolt it down between the two pieces of wood. It should be fine. So let's get on it. All right, guys, update on this thing. We got the bracket mounted. Got it right here, all sturdy. That's bolted on there. I still need one more bolt um, to go in the middle, but that's pretty secure right there. And then I got the. Um, the swing arm on it right here. As you can see, pivots up and down. Um, that bolt goes all the way through. As you can see, super straight. And then these bushings are on the outsides. They are in here. Um, just to keep everything straight and everything. So I might put a couple more right here and some in here too. Bushings. Uh, to keep everything like level and everything and then I'm gonna get a longer bolt so that I can put a washer on it and then go through right now it's kind of short so probably gonna have to get a different one um, and then let's see the shocks are going to go right here if I can get in here that's kind of how it's gonna be like that and then when you go up, compresses the shock. Yeah, that should work, I would think. Hopefully it has enough strength. Probably not. But, I don't know, it's coming along. Still have to brace up this back thing. I'm gonna put another board right, like right here. I think I've got that cut already right here. Oh, I think I used it. Crap. Yeah, I did use it. Hmm. I'm gonna have to cut another one. I think I used it for right here. So, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like from the back. As you can see, it'll, it's kind of like a little mechanism in there. So now I have to make the bracket for the holes, the two shocks in the back right here. So it can be like exactly like the top one except for the bottom of that thing. And then this is gonna be great. I want this to be like that. Probably like that, a little bit higher up. So that when you sit on it, it'll probably be like that. As long as that back swing arm can hold um, a wheel and some weight, we should be fine, but... Alright, let's continue this build. And I'll try to get the, uh, the whole swing arm done, and the shocks. Alright, so this is kind of like what it's going to look like from above here. Alright guys, just at uh, Menards picking up some more stuff. Um, got a couple, a couple more pieces of metal and wood and whatnot back here. Um, Total came to like 20 bucks. So spent another $20. Um, did some miscellaneous bolts and whatnot. So the project is total like 200 right now. So it's still not horrible, but it's getting up there. So we're gonna go home, try to finish up the the um, swing arm, and see if we can get the shocks all done. All right, guys. Update on this bike situation here. Uh, I just made this bracket for the shocks. As you can see, the wells are a little bit better, but not great. Um, made that bracket, made that bracket right here. And then, as you can see, it's got the double shocks now. And, uh, yeah, it works. So, 
Uh, nothing's bolted down very tight right now, but as you can see, that's kind of like the swing arm right there. And I'll kind of demonstrate how the back shocks work. So, as you can see, if you put weight down. Got some suspension in the back now. Now we just need the front. So now we've got, let's see here, next step is going to be We're going to brace up this back wheel a little bit more. Uh, put another board right here. And then try to bolt down everything pretty tight. Um, let's see how it feels when I sit on it. Whew. Yeah, it holds my weight. The shots do. Sweet.